Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. We're gonna be working on this 38 convertible again today. So in the last video you remember, maybe you don't remember, but we got the engine and trans out and we kind of uncovered all the sins on the car and are gonna be working forward into getting a different drivetrain into this car. I know everybody's gonna uh, sigh that is into Pontiacs, but we got that stuck Pontiac engine and Chevy trans out of there. So we're gonna be putting a uh, Cadillac back in here if we didn't already uh, discussed that, but the caddy that we got running on the table, um, we were going to be putting that in the car. That was kind of my plan from when we found it. And uh, we got, we're going to try in this video to get the engine and trans all cleaned up, get all the grease and grime and everything off of it, um, and get it mocked up in the engine bay of this. So I need to work on making my own uh, motor mount adapters, if you will, to go from the Cadillac to the early Ford. Um, and then also we need to uh, put a transmission mount cross member back in because they they torched it out when they did the conversion. Luckily the X member isn't modified too much and it's just that transmission cross member. So I have one from another car that we're going to adapt from another early Ford. We're going to adapt into this car and hopefully by the end of the video we will have the Cadillac 331 Cadillac and 39 Trans combo bolted in the car like it's supposed to be there and that'll be a huge step with this car. So let's get started. All right, so Steve uh, just got done cleaning up after using the needle scaler and it worked awesome. Um, you can see this thing had like inch thick gunk on the trans. It took it right down to bare metal. Um, only spots, it's a little more difficult if you're using the needle scaler to do this job. Um, if it's like wet, greasy, like not dried out as much, you'll, it kind of just gums up a little bit. So he knocked a lot of the major stuff off, um, which is great because now we don't have to use like 37 cans of engine cleaner we can use like a couple cans and pressure washer and it'll come out pretty good he went over the exhaust manifolds with that just to knock off the major rust we'll be using obviously uh, an, a manifold paint for that but while he was at it he knocked all the major flaky rust off of them so they're good to go and we should be able to uh, pull this thing outside it's actually a warm day today so we can quick get it hosed down and, and get it uh, looking a little better so we're gonna roll it outside and get spraying Please, not doing this for free. Yeah, right? Uh, a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right.
right, so for anybody who doesn't remember, uh, these are the remnants of the trans mounts. Uh, trans mount like saddle or cross brace, if you will. So we need to get all the rivets ground and knock these pieces out. And then I have a Mercury trans cross member here. That's the only one we had laying around. So I'm gonna slightly modify that to fit the Ford frame and mount that we want to use, the trans mount we want to use. So Steve's gonna work on grinding out the rivets and, and knocking these pieces out. And then we can try and get this uh, little cross member fit up. And then we can slide the engine in for the first time. So I put this thing back on the ground. I made up a modified mount there. That um, transmission mount is actually out of a 39 Mercury. Turns out it is a bit different. So one side, this left side of the, of the mount, uh, the flange was actually still in the car. So we took the rivets out, reused that. And then the right side, um, I made up a new section that replicated that and uh, Basically, we were able to weld it all together, grind it down, and now we have a mount that fits in the car like stock. Um, it's just what we had laying around. So uh, now that we got that in, what we should be able to do is slide this engine and trans in and at least get an idea of where it's going to sit. So we're going to get that all set up. Steve's setting the uh, engine hoist up with the load leveler, and we're going to see if we can drop this sucker in. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Just, uh, you may have to kind of stand on that thing just so you can move it. The leather side. The other side. Yeah, see how that way works. Yeah. Yep, that's lifting up a little bit. All right, come up a little bit. Oh, yep. All right, actually, no, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's okay. good. Yep. All right. Um, let's see if I can. Yeah, so wait, can you more? turn that, actually, turn that handle. Yeah, it's dropping the, the ass in. Okay. It's just slow. Yep. Alright, um, alright, let's try that. Go in just a little more. Okay. Just keep an eye on that right there. Just make sure we don't hit. Okay, now I, can you go slow? I know this is a lot of Slow good. back? No, no. Or down? Down. Okay, I can. Do you yes. want me to try it? Nope, I got it. I'm gonna move your phone off. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to hit the grill. So I know. Just the real. There you go. It's barely. There you go. So let's do it still. Keep going. Yep. You can see it in the front. Alright. Down, down. Okay, we're going to need to go back in here. Can we go back? We're yep. almost clear. We need yep. a couple yep. of inches. If you go back just a little bit more, yep. I can... Yep. Okay, you can go down some. Yep. I'm probably going to have to get under here in a second. We're getting close to this fender on this side. Can you go? There yep. you go. Yep. Might have to go back some more too. Clear the fender. Okay. That's about it uh, with the fender on this side. Oh, we have to go back in more. Yeah. Um, can you tilt? Yep. Give me some more tilt. Let me add you. Can you go down any? Uh, yeah, let me. Push you, I gotta push the engine over. Ryan, can you give just give Ryan direction? Yeah, just try to steady this up in the center here, or like that. It's it's gonna want to swing this way. Keep it over that way a little bit. Gotta go over, yeah, over a little bit further towards the other. There you go, Ryan. That's cool. Okay, are you ready to come down? Yeah. yeah. Okay, watch your fingers coming down. 
You just gotta get that nose down. Once we're getting into the engine bay, then we can start leveling it out again. Yep. The, the, yep. The uh, exhaust manifolds are down inside. Yeah, right. Get it down in a little bit more. Go so down some more? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Yep. Okay. That's plenty. Now, okay, so I'm plenty high back here now. Okay. So if you drop the whole mess down, yep. I'm going to keep my hands out of the way. Exactly. Are you clear? Yeah, I'm okay, clear. Okay, coming down. It's nice and slow. You're coming. What about there? Can you go in more? Yep. Are you clear the leg there? Alright, hold on. Now we got the exhaust manifold on this side is hitting. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, against it. But, oh, hitting that. But I'm also too high here. So right, I think, it, I think we can get down underneath that if we have to. Yeah. With, with the motor in, it'll be underneath that. Can we pull it forward a little bit again and I'll go down a little more? Um, hold on. Hold yep. Me. Yeah, because I'm a little high. Let me, let me take these. Don't go down. Nope, I ain't touching. Let me take these biscuits out. I think I'm going to have to put them in after your cover, okay. after you get over it. Yep. Oop. That wasn't bad. Can you go a little more? Yep. Coming down. Yep. Okay, now I'm clear of that exhaust here. I'm under the firewall. Excellent. So if you can go back some, I'm... I'm getting close to being over the mouth. Okay, uh, watch your head. Coming in. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Can you get me... Can you get a light? I can get up there. Yep. Okay, I'm close to The engine's in a perfect spot. It's it's going to clear the the pulley's going to clear the uh, cross member with no problem. We probably need to go back. We need to go back a little more. Okay. Just a tiny bit though. Yep. Oh, oh wait. We might be hitting the. I think the exhaust is hitting the steering column on this side. Super close to being. Well, it's got to come over. Yep. It's got to go over to the passenger side of the car a couple inches. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can kick. Uh, what am I hitting on here? I'm hitting on the exhaust on this side too. Okay. Yeah, and it's hit. The exhaust is hitting on the steering column on this side. But we're still. Let me just check here. I almost have to put the intake on and see what that's because I think that's what actually matters is the and more. this in didn't this intake it was slanted too. So that was actually help us. Would help us you say? Yeah, it was slanted to the front. Yeah. Where the carburetor it. mounts to it. Because that's where you're supposed to check, I guess, is the level. Probably on the not that makes sense on the carburetor flange. Can we slip that intake on here? Maybe. Well, I guess well, it's take this right out. Yeah, that's true. Just yeah, because the front's sitting at yeah. the height. Like, you can just take these keys out. And... and just pull this out of the way. Ready? At this point, we can kind of just put a jack. Yep. Under the front, we have. It's not far from being the center. No, it's pretty good. As far as that goes. I'm good here.
<laughs> we are actually actually too according to the carburetor we're actually too high in the rear now. You can see how I mean Yeah, they have such what a, an angle it is, yeah. yeah. So we're actually fine. Yeah. Sure. So what we probably should do is get enough spacers to get that to sit. Mm -hmm. And we're probably good. Because yep. we got clearance here. We got we got almost half an inch of clearance there. Plenty in the front. Yep. And it's almost level. Yep. We're like maybe a degree. You know, so by the time you, you cinch those rubber mounts down. Yeah, it'll again. pull it right down. Yeah. So nice. I think that's that's pretty good. Heck yeah. I'd like to get okay, I'd like to today quick get spacers in and get the bolts back in. Okay. Because then tomorrow I can just focus on motor mounts. Yep. And we and then once I get them fabricated, we'll be bolted in. Yep. All right, so we got an engine in trans. Uh, at least the trans is bolted into the car. So we fought around a little bit, getting everything to kind of fit just right. Um, the one thing we're using that is making it a little difficult is the passenger manifold on a Cadillac is intrusive for sure. So um, it, the outlet comes out over here and runs into the firewall in the corner, which it was already clearance. We just had to clearance it a little more and it does fit now. Um, we're working on jacking the engine up. We uh, got everything sitting just right that there's just enough clearance. I can get like a finger around the manifold and the bolt there. Um, and we need to level the engine. That's what we're working on now. So um, Steve is using the jack on this side to get the suspension sitting right. These old Fords with the buggy type suspension, they tend to sit crooked, especially if they've been sitting for a long time with flat tires and uneven ground. So he used the jack to get um, the car kind of sitting straight, level. So he's used the angle finder there and we're getting that car sitting level. Then we can get the engine sitting level. The other thing we did is um, I have the trans mounts all bolted up in the back in stock location. So that's the idea. It's gonna allow us to use a stock or a 40 Ford rear that we have in stock with a 354 gear set in it. Uh, stock torque tubes, stock pedals, and kind of go back to a more simple setup. Um, and by doing that, um, it puts the engine at a good spot. Um, but we wanted to make sure we had clearance on the oil pan because the oil pan wanted to sit on that cross member of the U-bolt. So we shoved a piece of like half inch piece of wood under there, just under half an inch under there. Um, and that got us a little bit of clearance there. So we pretty much have everything fitting good. Um, Everything clears, and especially when we start leveling the engine, the engine was sitting a little to the steering box anyway, so when we get that sitting level, then what I could do is adapt the engine mount. So if you look here, this is a stock, try not to blind you. Uh, down there is a stock engine mount. There we go. This is a stock engine mount. What they were on Cadillac is they were this U-shaped piece of metal that was encapsulated in a rubber the rubber mount was encapsulated, encapsulated the metal mount. So over time, of course, the rubber wears away or separates and you end up with this. So most Cadillac engines you see kicking around have a bracket like this where the rubber just like ripped off. So I may use these as a guide, if not at the very least, I'm gonna use these for measurements um, and then we can adapt them to what they had. So they have this little riser that used to come with the hearse kits that's just a U-shaped piece of metal. Um, the sat on. These are essentially like 55 Chevy type uh, biscuit mounts. I've used these before. My Cadillac engine and Sweetheart Roadster actually utilize those um, because they're nice and small. So what I'm going to need to do is just adapt this. You see there's a gap here. Um, once we get this leveled, whatever that gap is, I'm going to have to build some metal to kind of raise this up and get it over to there. So just some kind of tab to go out and around and drop it down. Or I may make it from scratch. I don't know yet. Um, and then once we get that connected to this, I think I'm gonna drill these holes out or, or grind them open and make a slot and put a larger bolt in there. They had two little like 3 8 or 5 16 bolts in there. So I'd like to put just one larger bolt in there on either side. So we may open these holes up and take them out. Of course, eventually, once we get a little further or the car's you know, going back together for the last time, we'll put some brand new rubber mounts in there. They're like rock hard, but for now, they're just fine and uh, we can continue forward.
All right, so we got the engine all bolted in the car. It is nice and tight in there. It is one with the car, which is great. So um, what I ended up doing just off camera after I had a couple shots of me tacking the mounts together, I just added some webbing or bracing to the, uh, to the mounts, welded everything up completely, and then we put it back on the car and bolted it all in tight, and it is very, very secure now. Everything's in. Uh, sits nice and level and straight in the car before uh, the engine was sitting completely crooked in the car if we didn't mention it before because it was jammed against the steering box so they just had the whole front of the engine pushed way to the passenger side and uh, we got everything corrected. Um, we ended up reusing some pieces of the Hurst mount kit and, uh, and then I made those mounts that went on the actual engine itself uh, and are sort of remnant, uh, sort of like the uh, original Hearst mount kit was for the Caddy in this body style or this style frame. So um, now that we got this in, this is huge, um, big step. We can start kind of, again, working towards correcting some of the stuff that's been done to the car that is just, you know, not acceptable or is hacked up pretty bad. Uh, one of the big things is the firewall. The firewall was just completely cut up in so many different places on the bottom for the engine. They just they didn't want to cut it more than once, so they just rough cut it, and there's like 10 inches of gap between the bottom of the firewall and the, tram, or the bell housing now. They, they chopped in for that pedal stuff, which is terrible. So we do have an extra firewall that I think we can make work. So I think what I'm going to work on in one of the next videos is drilling all the spot ones out, taking the firewall out, putting a replacement firewall in, and, um, and then work on adjusting that firewall to fit around the engine and fit in the car correctly and doesn't look nearly as bad. Um, now by doing this, we can start hooking up uh, original type of like 39 pedals that will get us juice brakes, will we'll attach to the trans um, and all the pedal stuff will work out really nice. We can pull out the old pedal setup they had and probably install a spoon type pedal or maybe even a 35 to 40 type pedal, I forget, or 37 to 40 type uh, pedal. And uh, we're gonna test fit the radiator and all that stuff. We already measured the engine and trans uh, to the Pontiac, and it was basically the same length. So the, the radiator should fit just like it did before. It'll be tight, but it should fit. Um, and just start connecting the dots. You can see I put the, um, the Cadillac or old style uh, air cleaner on there, and uh, it's just set on for now. But I'm gonna adapt like a, a normal 14 inch, just cheap paper air filter setup to that and it should sit nice. It's just, we wanted to sit it on there and see how it looked, but everything looks pretty good. Huge step on this car. I mean, it was just sitting not even a month ago in a uh, little overhang in upstate New York, kind of forgotten about. And now it's getting, uh, it's getting an upgrade. It should be uh, hopefully roadworthy by the spring. So thank you guys for following along. Let me know what you think of the Cadillac in our 38 Ford Deluxe. Thanks guys, catch you later.